Hello, happy Friday, everybody. We are Dungeon Crate, and uh, we're at Dungeon Crate Curios today, and the shady lady herself is with me. Look at that. Here. Yeah, so it's we're Friday. We're wine out of our amazing goblets. Right, what is this wine we have today? I don't know. Montefalco Rosso. Rosso. It's a blend. It's a blend. A 2017. So that is a... What's in our it's after five there? o'clock here. I don't know what time it is at your house or mm. your office, but it's after five here. It is. And it's Friday. Five. So. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start sharing this. We're going to share a few things. Let's see if we can refresh here and get a live feed going. Hopefully everything's live. Looks like we are. There we go. It's on. So now we can share away. And if you know if anybody that wants to watch this live too, uh, feel free to share that. I'm going to go ahead and share it here as well. Delicious. You can, yeah, share it away. Yeah, um, no, because that'll just share it to our own post. Oh, Your login is sense. done. There. You can't do it. I don't need to. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there we Nick. go. Hi, Nick. Hey, how's it going? Nick's on with us. All right. Share to you, page. Share to your story. I'm just going to share now. Share. Live. Share now. Cheers, Nick. It's Friday. There we go. It's Friday. It's Friday. So the reason, uh, well, we want to try and keep doing these uh, happy hour lives here at the Curious Shop because we got a lot going on. Uh, in fact, uh, just to give you a little update, we're still uh, looking at moving into our new location right over there. Uh, it's going to be the old Daisy Jones Locker place, and uh, you're going to love it. It's going to be great. And I think we're moving in there. 6129 Military Avenue in Omaha, Nebraska. Thanks. I, I keep forgetting But if you're not in Omaha, Nebraska, it doesn't matter because all of this stuff is available online, too. So. Online. Yeah, so you can get it there as well. We have a bunch of stuff to show you today. I just unboxed a huge box that we just got in of new items. Uh, they're so cool. Wayne went on a shopping spree. I did. I like doing that. That's kind of why we have the store, right? I know. <laughs> it kind of, totally so we can is. just buy it's stuff totally rather is. than, uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, look, we can go to the chat here. Oh, yeah. So on our sale, we'll wait for the tickers here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We got everybody over here. Oh, Tim yeah. Schultz, Yay. good to see you. Uh, we got you on chat here. So, um, so yeah, we're going to be moving in uh, hopefully by the first of Friday of, of May. Mm -hmm. Because Benson First Friday, that organization has uh, like a uh, vendors and all that kind of stuff for First Absolutely. Friday. And, yeah. And uh, one thing that we're doing is we'd like to be open for that because that's right in front of our building. We're going to have vendors in our backyard, hopefully. It's going to be great. We have a huge fenced in backyard. And then we've got, uh, so we'll have all sorts of activities going on once we once we get in there. And it's mm -hmm. the retail thing. So, But in the interim, we are open this weekend. We're open now. We're open. So come on down tonight if you if you have time till 7 o'clock. We're open. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow we're opening up from noon till 5. Mm -hmm. And we've got a great game going on. Jonathan, DM, DM Jonathan will be here. And he'll be running a game. I'm also running a game for another group. Kind of a, a little, little deal. Uh, which would be great. So we've got a couple of games happening tomorrow. The game is open, so if you want to stop by and drop in, that's all you need to do. You can sign up or, or on our dungeoncrate.com under events to give us a heads up if you're showing up. But we've got everything you need to play. So that's happening Saturday, and we're going to try and keep having games every Saturday. Mm -mm -mm. Right, which is always fun. Yes. Saturday's a game day. Sunday, too. This we Sunday, we could have open games, too. I'd like to get some people to come in on Sunday and play Magic the Gathering with me. I have a deck. Chris from Greenlight, I'm looking at you, who got me that, <laughs> but um, I'd like to actually uh, uh, play a little bit of that. So let's uh, let's let's do like Magic the Gathering Sundays, maybe that would be fun. So, but we got in a bunch of new things. We did, we did. Wayne's been wanting to show them off. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I gotta be upfront. I just got these in. So it's kind of like an unboxing because we don't yeah. have them available on the store yet, right. but soon. They are priced, though, and they are in the store. If you are here locally, you can come in and get them. But they will be up online by tomorrow. Or yeah, during. we'll get them going this weekend. We'll get them going this weekend. So they'll be up online. You'll see them. You can check them out and oh, make sure that But they're... first, you... we did just send out crates. Crates oh, went right. out, was it Thursday morning? Wednesday they morning? went out. No, they went out. What day is today? Friday? Friday. They went out yesterday morning. Yeah, so Thursday morning, crates went out. So you might even be, you might even have yours mm -hmm. or get them in the mail this weekend. Right. So. Oh, look, they got captions. I know. That's nice. Look, you can read the captions as you watch me say the captions. <laughs> yeah. Is it going to work? Yes, it does. That's funny. 
All right, well, you, wanna, you wanna see some stuff, everyone? Let's, uh, let's check out some stuff. Let's do it. All right, so first we got in, what do you wanna do these first? Let's do these first. Yeah, I love these, yeah. I think they're super fun. These are our little dragon stash boxes. We have some already in the store, but I just got some new ones in the black. They all, pretty much all of them sold, so we just got a new shipment in of them. They open up this way. They they're might so fit a full set of dice. This one definitely will, but they're great for your special Maybe. dice. Let's look. Um, Let's find it. Well, some of them will. Somebody else suggested Whoa. using them as like a uh, engagement ring box. Oh, right. Isn't that a cute idea? It I could be your doing inspiration that. die holder, your right. very special die holder. Especially and if you have a big chunky D20 or something. Check this out, this red one. Uh, Dave Barry just bought the last one of these. Oh, this yeah. One, so I had to get a new one. We have some of these too. Jeremy Wilson, good to see you. Uh -huh. All right. So we've got the black dragon, the red dragon, and uh, Lori's got the purple dragon. How's it work with the dice? Not, it barely, not all of them. It's not quite fits. And the purple dragon. It's great for a big, chunky D20. Yeah. These or are 14 dollars mini, mini set of dice. $14.99 for those little tiny dragon stash boxes. They're kind of fun. I dig those a lot. Um, what next? Oh, speaking of boxes, check this out. Whoa. I don't even know if you can really see how great this, these are. They're so beautiful. It looks really like scales. And those eyeball, that eyeball looks real, which is right. freaky, freaky kind of. Check that out. Elizabeth. Yay, What's up, girlfriend? Check that out. Yeah, and the eye on this is cool too. Mm-hmm. Look at that. It's lined in felt. Felt lined. Mm-hmm. And it's $22.99. That's it. So there we go. We got those boxes. We got a couple of those. Uh, one thing I got because I need it right now. One thing I gotta show you is this. <laughs> this Check is this so, out, this right? Is this is 22 really bucks great. too, and it's a back scratcher. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's it's nice, it's sturdy. Uh, scratches your back pretty well. Like it's hilarious. Uh, I mean, reach everywhere, scratching, scratching. Oh, yeah, it's great. I don't know. I think so. It's now it's used, used, but it, there's no discount. Well, not on skin. Now I should, yeah, well, yeah, it's not used on that one gross. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's gross. In fact, <laughs> since I've used it, now we're gonna up the price and I'll order it. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> DNA included. <laughs> it's my <laughs> shirt. I didn't shirt. know. It's not. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jeremy, what's going on, Jeremy? Uh, yes, right, yeah. spell components. So the next thing is we figured that you needed something practical with your dragons. Uh, there we go, look at this dragon stapler. They have a dragon head one that I'm gonna hilarious. get too, it's pretty cool. And I kind of bought this for the store to use, you know, at the checkout desk, but I might have to put it up. If it doesn't sell in a couple of weeks, then I'll probably snake it and use it. Or buy another one. And then just find stuff to staple because it's fun, right? Yeah, you're right. We don't staple anything. I know. Like, we literally like, don't even have a stapler like, in the building. I don't know why. Okay, so we that's... We don't staple many things. But... So it's for sale. There you go. You can buy it. I mean, I actually, it. I actually do sometimes. Yeah? Some stuff, but mm. not at the store. I don't know. Mm. It's uh, fun and uh, dangerous. Dangerous? And I feel like if you worked at an office, even a home office, like it would be good for your home office, <laughs> right? You need to nerdify. Oh, <laughs> did you do that? Ah. No, I didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> This is why we don't staple things. Right? We don't staple things. Give the staples away. Give them away. Uh, you want to show this one? Oh, the little salt and pepper shakers. Look how cute they are. It's like they cracked out of the egg. Yeah. Boop. And then Aww. that's the top of the egg. And there's your. That's so cute. We do deal. we do a brekkie brunch once a month with all the kids and grandkids that are close by. Uh, this would be fun. To have on your table. Uh, Celeste, hey, good to see ya. She's been in the store. She's been in here helping fulfill your boxes before. Oh yeah, totally. Yep. Oh yeah, and look, they. see you. Oh uh, yeah, I think uh, Celeste, you're in Arizona or something. Like oh that. yeah, yeah. So we may if we when we go to visit your sister yeah, totally. in Arizona. So yeah. So salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. Um. Oh. Nerdify your S and P. Right. You should get the hot water. Oh, I will. Mm. Okay, these are cool. We have some cups to show you, so this would be cool. All right. Uh, 
So this, check this one out. This is good for wine too. I was kind of like, oh, do I want to sell this one? Yeah, I think it was. That's the hardest part. Getting all the stuff in, you're like, do I have to sell it? Oh my gosh, go look at this. Dragon scale cup. I think this usually comes out so you can wash it. But look, look at that eye, it's pretty cool. It's nice and weighty, I dig that. Glug, glug, you know. And then yeah, uh, that's cute. we have this. No, this is mine. I was like, no, I don't think we mm -hmm. have those. Mm -hmm. We do have something like that, though, that is yes. available. Um, yeah, we do have some extras. We yeah. have actually a lot of drinking uh, vessels here in the curio shop. We've got mugs for coffee. we got shot glasses. We have wine goblets. This one's actually really cool. And this one you can get online right now. It's a dragon right. goblet. I have no yep. idea how many ounces. It has a little instruction sheet and everything. Show you how to drink. Yeah, it. I know exactly. Place up two lips. In case you're not smart enough to know how to drink out of it. Yeah, well, sometimes <laughs> after a couple of bottles, get that <laughs> one. You know, <laughs> you might need instructions. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a good Friday. Yeah. Cheers to all you all. Cheers to right? you. Right. Cheers. Mm. So let's look at this thing here. You know these little. So has a dragon on it, and on the back, right. this is the Beltane. And this uh, one is mug, but check it. I we haven't tried this out yet, so we have some hot water here. It's like a cauldron shape. They're just cool cauldrons. That's what it is. And that yeah. one is uh, oh, Lamas. that one's Lemus, and this is Beltane kind of dragon. But each but one has a certain dragon. Let's see what it looks magic like. Magic because They're magic. I have hot water in this that I boiled. That's right. Is it the dragon and that it's changes? The color changing. We're not sure what changes in color or if uh, anything. So we're all going to find that online. So it What's looks, it doing? Anything? It's getting brighter. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Is it working? We don't know. Oh, I think it's doing something. <gasps> Let me see. Let's see this sometimes is. it takes a sec. Oh, so the runes. So it looks like these little runes here, they're starting to glow. They're red now. Oh. Uh huh. So it just kind of makes the little runes uh, oh, on the fun. outside of the dragon uh, change color. Nice. Good for coffee, tea. Right. Whiskey. I like it. Well, I mean, it wouldn't change color with the whiskey. Oh, I get that. Okay, so it just kind of like gets red. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the, yes. this in here and see what happens. Here. Okay, we're gonna try that one out. It's just hot water. Get a scratch. These are right. Doug. Color changing <laughs> anything is good. Don't you think? Yes. I always like to fill my goblet at the Fountain of Wayne. Yes. He said it. I didn't. I know. <laughs> oh, what hey. Speaking of cocktails, we do have this. This will be available. This is the uh, Dungeon Meisters uh, Drink Master's Guide. Oh, yeah. So this one, this one has... Wow, lots of cocktails in it. Let's look at. Oh, ooh, hey, look just at pull a random one out. We'll see what, what comes up. Dragon on the beach. Oh, instead of sex on the beach? Yep. Nice. Dragon on the beach. <laughs> Hang on with that guy. <laughs> 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 Is that a tail? No. Breath weapon. There's one. This one, breath weapon. What is that one? Two ounces of vodka removed. Okay, so it makes me a martini. Juice from a, oh, one splash of juice from a jar of garlic stuffed olives. A garlic stuffed olive for garlic and one clove pickled garlic for pickled garlic for garlic. Yeah, wow. it's just a martini. It's just martini. a dirty martini. Oh, but, that's why it's breath weapon. Right. But it's garlicky, so. Garlicky. Okay. But there's a lot of those in here. This will be up here. What is this one? $16.99. And if you have like lots that. of I like books. that it has images in there, too. I didn't know that. They're drawings, they're yeah, illustrations. illustrations, but that's what I mean. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Muddled minions. Gelatinous cubes. Is it ice? Oh, are these jello shots? Tell me they're oh, jello yeah. shots. <laughs> it is, they it's a jello shot. shot. And using gold slogger. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Straight back to the 90s. Yep. Straight back to the 90s. I love it. <laughs> we might have to try some of these. Jello shots. For, for lives it. out of the Dungeon Meister. I love it. Oh, and so for the books, you're also going to need some bookends. 
I've got a set of these. I kind of want those, actually. You know, they're pretty cool, right? We do need bookends. We do have a library. Whoa. So we have these as well. Um, those are really nice. And they are also very heavy. Sometimes they're pretty heavy. If you've ever bought, if you ever bought bookends, you know that not all of them are heavy enough to work. Mm -hmm. Like you kind of have to like chance it out. Yes. Or they're not flat or they're sometimes I have like statuary and they're supposed to be bookends, but they like the dragon ones. But it's those like, are nice your and heavy. This, They'll but, hold your books. Yeah, this is nice. They'll hold your books. Weighty. Absolutely, Elizabeth. Yep. This summer, it is all happening. We're going to do it. Gelatinous cube jelly shots. Mm -hmm. summer. Green slimes. Green slime it's shots. Gross, but it, with Goldschlager in there, I think that sounds... That'd be different with the green slime. That'd be like it a lime cool kind of thing, a tropical thing. No, is it Goldschlager cinnamon? Yeah, shots? but that's that one. That I'm saying a different one if we make a green slime. Oh, right. It's different than a I did cube. make gin and... Uh, gin and tonic jelly shots once that were mm -hmm. clear and they just they were served on top of a lime oh slice They're actually good these. it was like classy jello shots all right they are classy. they were bougie jello shots i liked it we also got a couple of these in because i always want more dragon heads this is one that mounts to your wall and the lights come on does it yeah and then if we wait for a second. Oh, oh yeah. and now it's green. Oh my gosh, that's very cool. Right. And then it turns to purple. Yeah. Oh my gosh, hey, those are cool. Back to red. And it has a nice, like, turn around on the back. You can see the nice, like, it's got a built-in, like, place to hang it. Which I think yeah. those are better because it's nice and sturdy. Yeah, right up there. Because it's made yeah. of that resin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's not heavy, so but, why. you know, you want the, you want it to be secure against mm. your wall. And this one too, this is the gold dragon. I like that one. Which is pretty fun. And then it also turns on. I think this one does change colors just like the only up. Yeah, I've seen these around. But now. Those are cool. He's got chunky jowls. We should hang that. We should hang yeah. those up. We'll hang those up too. We'll hang those store. at the store. And then I think we have one last item that we unboxed today. Oh, you want to get that? That I was do. super fun. Look how cute this is. This was the first thing I saw when I walked in. I was like, oh my God, this is adorable. <laughs> like, uh -huh. Look at him. He's a little cookie jar. He's a cookie jar. That is. And it's all, I mean, you know, glazed ceramic so you can wash it. Probably not in the dishwasher because these things will break, but right. you can wash it. You can put your cookies in there. You can put your Weed. Dice collection. You can put your weed in there. You put <laughs> your dice collection? You know how many dice that would hold? Right? Yeah, all the time. That's amazing. Oh my God, what an adorable idea. Right? Yeah. It doesn't hold your cookies, it holds your dice. It can oh, hold dice is. and cookies, which I always like a dice cookie holder better. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. A cookie idea. dice holder. I love it. That's yeah. great. So we have, we're going to have all those up on our store here soon. and Yeah, the, and by we'll, this we'll weekend for in. sure. Yeah, so if you're in the area, again, like I said, on Saturday, we were doing a uh, open game table. Yeah, have that. that. <laughs> yeah. Ripped his head straight off. You have oh. no idea how strong I am. It's so strong. Wait, we got some more stuff. More stuff in. Brandon from uh, Custom Burns came in and added to our armory. Yeah. As you know, we have these things. This giant axe. Look at the, uh, that's how I did it. Cut all these individual pieces and then layered them. Put them on here. I showed this off a lot because I like it. Uh, we did auction one of these off at Gary Con. Brought in some uh, some really great money for the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. So thanks again, Brent, for having me. All right, but what else do we have? We have swords. So you've seen these. These are those long swords. I really like these a lot. And we have more of a katana yeah. style. And I want to try and I want to try and add on something that we can put in. Like I don't know. We're gonna gamify these somehow, where you can actually use these in either a live game or in a live action game we're gonna find out outlast i don't know uh but he brought in a new one he brought in a new design this one right here check this out i like this one so this is more of a like an elven style blade if you like i just like holding on to these they feel great and uh boop, 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 boop. And, and they don't chop, hurt chop chop <laughs> yes I appreciate you can that. kind of hit them together 
but more or less they would be great to have for i don't know some way i'm gonna find out some way to do them in the game so you can have them they're also so light that you can have them at the table if you like you can move your minis with them you can do all sorts of stuff but <laughs> you can push terrain around push terrain around it's like in the old school like they had the big maps and the this is the big scimitar that we've got in now too yeah. flame tongue scimitar I like so it. it feels pretty good i like this i really like i don't know why i love these swords because they're cool That's i know why. you're going to be able to use them but it's kind of fun just to have them have them around you know so you can move your you know i want to do this or this but if we had like a plus five plus, you know, or have special abilities on this, I don't know, we do some sort of thing. Figure it out. Cause I think it'd be cool to add it into the right? gameplay somehow. It'd be awesome. You know, cause it's like a fun reason to have it. Not it's just a large like prop, but it's a, a prop. cool thing to have it, but and also useful. Useful, right. And we're hoping to get some more cosplay stuff in here too. Uh, we've got Renfer coming up in a couple of weeks. So I'm getting my, uh, my costumes ready for that. Right, everybody in the world has Renfer coming up. Yeah, true. Some places have, like, I just saw somebody today who was posting on Facebook saying, like, why does Omaha not have a full season of Ren, Ren Fest, Ren Fair? We do. We have two different Ren Fairs and two know, weekends. But like, each. but, like, in a lot of cities, like Minneapolis or in that area and, like, Kansas City and in that area, they have, like, Ren Fair that goes every weekend for, like, three months. Oh, because people here have jobs. <laughs> I don't know. People in Kansas City have jobs? No, I know, but I think it's a much bigger organization than that, too. I, I think it's just bigger organization. A lot of rent fairs, I think our rent fair is no, fairly small like... for, for for comparatively to some of the larger ones. So right. maybe it just doesn't work out that way. You know, Do you guys we, go we literally know fairs? the people that put it on. So rent fest, rent fairs. Do you call right. them fair? Or do you call them fast? Rent fair, rent fest, rent fair. I don't know. Either way. It's a Ren Fair Rennies? until you're there Rennie? and have some ale and mead, and then it's a Ren Fest or a Ren, yeah. Ren, 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 whatever. Oh, we're also open to suggestions for quality mead. I right. have not, I've not had the best experiences with mead, and, oh. but I love the idea. And I, I just have. Keep, you had one. I know, but. At Garycon, dude. Oh that? my gosh. You, think you, you were not. You that. couldn't even bring one back for me. I couldn't. No, because no. you didn't check your bags. No, but we were only tasting uh, from our friend John, who has a meadery or something like that. Remember, he does something with a winery. It? He does wine and mead. And I had this mead that was super strong, and it was really good. It was just unlike any other mead I've had. And we would just sip it, and it tasted a little bit like wine. Because the other mead we've had has not been so good. Not the best. I wasn't just a fan of it, but this is really good. Is all. That's why I keep thinking, you got to keep trying, because maybe you just don't like what you've had, but, right. you know. The oh, Barry Farm, yeah, Scott so says, we'll be there. Hey, Scott, yay. Oh, Clinger, you just reminded me of something. Uh, so one thing that we were talking about to check it out. the other night uh, to do for uh, First Fridays at the new place is to have a featured artist every First Friday, but a featured artisan where we want to have people, you know, like Scott bringing terrain and whatnot and then maybe feature other what were we, what were we talking about I, don't, I forgot we're having people uh dice makers, some of our vendors you know dice makers some of these local crafters and makers uh we've got uh, yeah, uh we Lee make stuff she's got a she makes a whole lot of things and it's very creative so all mm -hmm. this stuff is like instead of like having paintings or photographs on the walls since we don't have a whole lot of wall space we're gonna have a display table where we can have uh Things like uh, I don't know, like 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 our vendors, like the candles, so all the people that we saw, all the vendors and people that we met at Nerd Miss who are making some amazing things. Our 3D printer guy, uh, if you do 3D printing, if you want to be a featured vendor, you can hit us up and let us know, and show us the stuff that you have, and you just come on in and we can put it on display for a month. And uh, and if you want to sell it, great. If you just want to show it off because they're artisan pieces, that'd be great too. If you want to do both, that's even better. Win-win mm -hmm. is always better. So. And if you're not from here, maybe we could figure out some way to kind of like ship stuff back and forth. I don't know. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, if you're not, not? there, if you want to do a We're remote uh, featured art, we just wanted it to be day. like an alternative because I mean, arts is covers a lot of stuff. Right. And I mean, every like at most major cities and even like medium sized cities like Omaha have a, at least one first Friday in their downtown or whatever. So we have a couple. We have one in the old market, and we have right. one here in Benson. Um, which is a creative district in uh, Omaha. So, yeah. So it, I, I think it'd be great because we'll be able to feature some of our 
uh, you know, not only vendors, but these people are vendors because they were creative and they decided to make some things and they were good at it and they love to do it. And so there's a lot of heart in this as well. And I, mm. so it'll be fun. We'll see. Uh, oh yeah, I saw the Viking Rune tablet there, Scott. Oh, that'll be very cool. That'll yeah. be very cool. If you want to display that somewhere, I've got an awesome lobby that, uh, you know, because I'm sure you don't have any room at your place, Scott. So <laughs> no, I'm just right. there for you. I'm just saying. I'm there for you. All right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Do you have anything else? What else is going on? We kind of talked about everything. And, well, I don't know. The, you know, another hour for the shop to be open. So if you like what you see and want to come down and say hi tonight, please feel free to come on down and bring us some more wine. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you uh otherwise we're open saturday and sunday come down just say hi 12 to 5. yeah all my friends out there if you guys haven't seen the shop yet just come on in and take a look at it you guys this, this will be probably the i don't know we got one or two more we got maybe probably about two more weekends here and then we're going to be over right up the street so mm -hmm. come on down here and check it out um you'll oh, and it. if you have tax refund money come on down come get nerdy come get nerdy we've got We've got rust monsters that need homes. <laughs> exactly. So, that are hungry. They're hungry, sad, and lonely. I'm sad and lonely. Would you please bring me home? See, that's the reason. Your voice is weird. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, no oh, judgment here. I forgot the dragon oh, pants. Oh, those are so cute. And those are really like dragon bucks. pants. $4.99, right? Yeah. Cute. You no, know, oh, kids like these too. I like these. Look. They're sparkly. Yay. This one looks kind of like he died. Yeah, you like should, Scott. Found... Swing in. All right, so that's all, this, that's all the new stuff. Have nothing more. We have fun stuff going on this weekend. Linda, hello. Oh, that's it's been a while since Linda's been on, too. Yeah, it's right. been a while since we've been doing lives consistently. So uh, gonna, we hope to keep doing them. We're going to start doing them every Friday night, right? That's right. our happy hour thing. We're just going to... Right, because we like you guys. Yeah, well, why not? And it seems like everybody gets home from work, everybody's ready to go, and we don't right. typically have a ton of people coming in because they're still working, you know, from three to seven. So we'll see. But you know, we're trying to figure it out. Yeah, we're fixing that. So yes, oh yes, you need more bookmarks. We have so many. Mm. All the great, all the great ones. We have all the bookmarks. <clears throat> yeah. So all right, well, you guys, thanks a lot for joining us here on live. Uh, at five, Dungeon Crate uh, Cocktails and Contemplation. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, the boxes are out. So we'll see you next week or this week. Hopefully this weekend. Come on down. Otherwise, we'll see you live on next week on Friday. My name is Wayne. This is Lori. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Dungeon Crate Cures. Oh, yeah. Somebody, Somebody just came in. Hello. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm selling candy. You're selling candy.